Good morning, YouTube friend. Sorry for the scary two eyes, but that's the only way I can keep the glare coming in when I'm uh, recording from the inside of the minivan. So pretty much you're gonna see my recordings from the seat that I just flip around inside my minivan. And uh, one of the problems arise from doing this is I no longer have a curtain that will block out. So pretty much I will have to make a curtain for this, which is pretty easy. And we're just gonna run a, let me see, run a string across here and then put the curtain up there when I'm stopping. So when I'm driving, take it off easy. Cause you see all those point right there? Anchor point right there, right there, over there, another one over there. Let me see, I can't point it backward. Yeah, those are. Be on the lookout for that one when I'm gonna make the curtain. That should be an easy five minutes project. But right now, I will have to uh, make a reflective for the window on the left and the right. And I already have a roll up. Unfortunately, they are a little bit short. So let me show you. See when I, what I tell you, the glare, if I don't block it up like that. But anyway, the sheet that I bought was like this height and it still left a little gap open, right? Actually, pretty easy to cut this. It take me about five minutes. It take longer to mark than to cut it and fit it in. So it actually, I don't need to do anything. You know, it will slide right in there, slide over there, and slide inside. So it stay pretty much up there. But sometimes, you know, it's a benefit for you to have issue like this. Remember, venting inside a minivan is important. That will be my venting point. And I will make another flap which will attach to the top. Then I can always open it up and let the vent come in. And then also I will put a screen, bug screen in and all open that at nighttime when it's hot. Then I have venting and still have covered. You know, the flap will tilt out. You will see when I, I put it together. So the reflected, the silver looking it's fine from the inside, but let me show you what it looked like from the outside. Yeah, pretty tacky looking. So, we're gonna fix that problem with this. So, the plan is I'm gonna use this uh, plastic dip spray can. People say it doesn't work well, but you know, plastic dip spray is kind of a uh, vinyl flexible stuff. The problem is when you paint them, they always chip off from the edge, right? All the edge around it. To counter that problem, I'm using my uh, black uh, duct tape to reinforce the edge. Because you know, the edge is pretty flimsy. So that will be reinforced. It. Alcohol and paper towel to clean up the surface so you can get rid of the oil. So that way, the plastic dip was. Uh, adhere to the surface better all right i'm not gonna make you go through the pain of watching me i might do a time lapse so that way save you the pain all right let's go do this okay first of all i use uh, 70 percent alcohol to wipe down the surface that i'm about to paint that way i get rid of all the oil you know your hand is full of oil so make sure you don't want to touch too much on the surface that you want to paint and then I use some dry towel and dry cardboard. Let it sit for a while before you spray. So I shake the can for about a minute or so and then I keep continuing to shake as I paint too. So I start out at the edge so that way it will have some point up to uh, attach itself the spray surface. So this make sure you wear mask like I have here right the, the last thing you need is get some uh, plastic into your lung. This is liquid plastic. So, so don't worry about getting too close when you're painting because this is plastic. You want it to be thick. But you don't want it to be too thick that it won't dry fast enough for you. So I do two coats. This is my first coat. So 
So about 10 minutes later, I do my second one. Same process. Yeah, make sure you, you cover it complete. Right now, I am doing a horizontal, and then after the, the second coat, I do a vertical. See, I did this because I want to make sure it will have enough uh, plastic to cover both pieces. So I did two horizontally before I do the vertical, just in case, you know. So I actually used the whole can for, for these two windows. The can is about $15, so pretty expensive, but... But, you know, you don't have to, you don't need the skill of uh, sewing. All right. So these are pretty much the finished product. I'm not quite sure whether I should attach this little piece, you know, to the top or not with the duct tape. So I, I uh, reinforced the edge with duct tape along here and here. I leave the two sides alone because it make it easy to slide in, so it's wet in the window easier. I will show you when uh, when it's installed actually on the window. Okay. So this is on the driver side that install two pieces: the bottom piece and the top piece. I'm gonna show you when you remove the top sheet what it look like on the right side. All right. So this is what it look like without a top piece. I know, I know, if you make it too many pieces, you might lose it. But you know, sometimes you don't want to cover the whole window. You still need some light to come in during daytime. And actually block out a majority of the heat, but you still, and then if it's too hot in there, you ventilation, just lower down the window a little bit. And if there's bug, my plan is I have a, a, a cease, no see them, uh, net that I can kind of throw over this before I put the reflexes on then that way it will keep the, the bug out and still have air ventilation up here that is my plan we will see how it actually work on the road so right now this is how it will look like for the front window for window covering this I will take it out because I no longer need this because remember my seat right here now so i need to work on the window covering on this side so this might go there with uh through the string across here to over there whenever i dry i just take them off i don't leave one that way i just increase my interior space like almost twice as much let me move to the, the other seat and show you yeah, by not having this, I just gained a whole bunch of spaces in the front interior here. Instead of just limited behind this curtain, you know, at nighttime or daytime. Literally, I'm increasing the interior space twice as much. Amazing, isn't it? By just moving the seat around a little bit more on the window cover and you got a whole lot more space inside of the minivan camper. Plus, now I can jump into when I'm in my bed. If I need to get out, I can get to my driver's seat easily like this way. Remember, I have a bunch of junk here in between the seat right here and stuff. Anyway, let's go check out what it looked like from the outside. There you go. That's what it looked like. With uh, yeah. these two p these pieces, actually used the whole can of uh, plastic spray. There you go. That's my new uh, window covering for the front. Just for the f uh, for the driver side and the passenger side, I have to work on the the one for the windshield. See, right now I'm just having the sunshade. That's it. That's more than enough during daytime, but nighttime you need to actually, you know, darken it out so you don't want the light to leak out to the outside. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I will catch you on the next video.